It's weird to be 31 and be a skateboarder. Like, it's not old, but you're still like, like I don't skate by myself anymore because I was at the skate park last year and I fell and hurt my back and I didn't have any friends with me. And so I have two 12 year olds carry me to my car. Uh, Theotis Beasley came in and I was working at this active when he, they sponsored him. And then he became like a big time guy. And uh, he would bring his whole family in and give them free stuff. Who else, who else did we sponsor? Elijah Burl. Everything that's ever been good that's happened to me in my life has been because of a huge failure or embarrassment. Like, I think somebody telling you no or firing you or whatever, that's like a great inspiration. You know, like I have a comedy special coming out. It's on HBO too much before HBO gave me the green light to that, my agents fired me. And they didn't know, they said they didn't know what to do with me as a comedian. Like the shows I'm doing tonight, you don't, are they free? Which is good, because the shit that I might, that, you know, there's a good chance I'm gonna bomb because I have to do, I mean, working on all new material now because the comedy special is about to come out and I need to figure out some new shit to talk about. I hurt my back doing the stretches that they asked me to do to not hurt my back. Oh wow, they played you. I'll just power through it. I've taken about seven oxys, so. That's probably the coolest thing I'll do today. I'm just here to encourage my friends. Oh shit, good job. Oh, skated. Why the fuck I got this? Oh, oh! Alright, you go, John. Pop flip land. Land! Oh! Woo! <laughs> That's it. Yeah! Great job, pal. You Great really job. Yo, now you get to do drugs. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Three of my friends booked me on shows, and hopefully I can do all three if I have time. But, uh, so they're not open mics, it's just like cool showcases with cool comedians. And I'm trying new shit. So yeah, this is way more nerve wracking than if it was at a open mic because the point of an open mic is just to try new shit. But because there might be cool crowds for this or other cool comedians, I like, I really, uh, I'll feel more bummed out if it doesn't go well. Like how strongly do you feel about your repertoire? I have a song that is new that I think will be okay, but I have to play it on piano because I don't have my guitar. And um, I don't really, I don't play piano too well, so that's nerve wracking. Oh, here we go. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Give it up for Sam and the rest of the gang. Real happy to be here. What a treat it is. Uh, my name is uh, Whit. And I'm from Alabama originally, and those are two of the more interesting things about me. <laughs> I was back in Alabama recently, like a really small town in Alabama. I feel like everybody in small towns has court coming up. <laughs> like all my friends I talked to down there, were like, hey man, it's nice seeing you, dude. You want to get lunch tomorrow? They're like, I can't, got court coming up. <laughs> can't, got to go to court. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I'm going to be back over the holiday if you want to maybe, I don't know, get together. I wish I could, but I definitely have court coming up. <laughs> All right, well, I'll be back, you know, Easter, I'll be back. I'm going to be in prison. <laughs> yeah. She started to graze my shaft and balls and taints and I immediate Lee Kane. 
A crab cobbled in Macom, crab cobbled in com, crab cobbled in Macom, crab cobbled in com, crab cobbled in Macom, crab cobbled in com, crab cobbled in Macom, in my Billy Bong bold shorts. Or maybe they will Vulcan. Let's be honest. They were mossy mo. <laughs> All right, thank you. Yeah, I thought it was good. It's a really good crowd, you know that that show. They, like they want our support. Yeah, it was it was good, and it was it's new shit. It's not like if I you know. So I'm I'm happy that I get I get any laughs off of it. Like talking about acclaim, someone like Seinfeld has it easy because he walks in and people are automatically triggered to laugh. In the beginning, they are. He's got to remain funny. I, it's like meeting a celebrity. Mm -hmm. Hang out with them for a few hours. After a little bit, you kind of. It doesn't matter, you know. It's yep. like if a, if you befriend, say you befriend Brad Pitt or something, and it's like, wow, Brad Pitt's texting me. How cool is that? But then he just keeps texting you all the time. <laughs> You're gonna be like, oh, I don't know. Maybe Brad Pitt's not. He should chill out. <laughs> it's like that with comedy, you know. That's fire. This is Friends and Lovers. The show is um, Side Ponytail is the name of it. What time's your set? It's right, I think it's right now. Right, go. <laughs> the show started an hour 15 minutes ago. Thank you, Julia. Thanks, everybody. Keep it going for everybody you've seen t so far. I was in jury duty. Um, had it for a, a day. It was interesting. Um, I was just, you know, sitting there reading the book, and there was a guy who was just like pacing around, like, and he had like the longest pants I'd ever seen. <laughs> like boot cut jeans, like true religion, pointy leather shoes. Like, but he was like maybe 35. Uh, his pants were like truly size 32, 48. <laughs> He's just pacing around like, uh, just like a petulant child, truly just like, uh, and he sits next to me and he goes, uh, I'm bored. <laughs> Audibly just goes, I'm bored. This is boring. The woman came over the speaker and she goes, uh, congratulations, everybody. Um, uh, you can go home. You don't have to come back here for at least a year. And the guy went, <gasps> <laughs> He basically did the dance of, uh, Mom, can we rent two movies from Blockbuster? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Mom, can Chris Tipler and me stay in the living room tonight? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they liked the guy in jury duty who says I'm bored. They liked that a little bit more, but I was really hamming it up. Yeah. So I think that they were, it's like tricky to, and they didn't like the person in a small town who always has court. I hope that people watched and were like, ah, he's working it out. He seems like an okay guy. And instead of, that guy sucks, fuck him, he's annoying. Some shit just fell flat, but whatever. Yeah, it seemed like a good night. I didn't kill, I didn't bomb, it just went okay. It went fine, it's a good night, yeah, yeah, it was fine. I got to see some friends. That's what it's all about, you know. But that's, that's just me, you know. That's oh, just yeah. me. Well, it's ended off, get some pizza, pizza. Pizza.